Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So, we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with somebody who, was, uh, who ran over a person while drunk. Let's see here. One afternoon, I had drank three beers, and I ran over a person who was on his skateboard. He crossed a red light. I tried to stop the car, but I didn't make it. The police arrived and I was arrested. Well, okay, well, first of all, what's relevant about the fact that he is the one who ran the red light is that you may not have been at fault for the accident. However, you were still driving under the influence of alcohol, provided that those three beers put you over um, uh, the blood alcohol limit of 0.08. Generally speaking, if you weigh under 180 pounds, three beers will put you over 0.08. Now, you don't have to be the cause of the accident. Simply being in the accident, simply being in an accident while being drunk, if the other person suffers any kind of injury whatsoever, and if somebody's on a skateboard, they're definitely gonna get some kind of injury, even a little scratch, that will automatically classify your DUI as a felony under uh, Vehicle Code Section 23152, I'm sorry, 23153B, which carries up to three years state prison. Now, uh, the DMV will also suspend your license for uh, six months, but please be aware that even though you may not have been the cause of the accident, you're still going to be, uh, you know, you're still going to be charged with a felony DUI. I need to emphasize. Driving under the influence impedes your ability to safely operate a motor vehicle. It's extremely dangerous to human life to drive under the influence of alcohol or drugs or both. And if you continue to drive under the influence of alcohol, and if as a consequence somebody were to be killed in the future, you could actually be charged with murder, which means you'd be facing 25 years to life here in the state of California. Um, and also, by the way, even if you were not at a blood alcohol level of a 0 0.08, let's say you were at a 0 0.05, 0 0.06, well, if the police can show, or more specifically, if the DA can show that the alcohol was still impeding your ability to safely operate the motor vehicle, you could still be charged with that DUI. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation in court, call us now for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who uh, did a little self-defense. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers. Criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.